Then we see that AJ Styles has attacked, which is the second time in two weeks. Um, and it has been reported that AJ Styles has been a little upset with the way he's been booked as champion. Um, I'm not upset about it, honestly. Yeah, it's been a little suspect, and he didn't. He hasn't been getting a lot of TV time since he's been champion. But um, you know, I would have to wait and see where they go from. You know, where they take his his title run before I could really criticize it. It's still early. Now the main event. Oh my God. Kurt Angle comes out and plays off that he's so angry that he's not even going to do his entrance taunt. He's just focused for this match. And Desmond comes off with this cocky swagger. Like if he's taking this match as a, a easy walk in the park. Which I think was a great, great move. And I expected this match to end quickly and just be a teaser for the turning point match. But this match was effing great. Oh my god. There was really great action and amazing storytelling within the match. They didn't even play the store on um, the street fight, you know, break him through the wood and all this stuff like that. They were just brawling and brawling in the ring and it really did have amazing storytelling. Um Desmond hit a sick lariat on Angle and Angle was not moving, teasing that you know he had got injured. And um Desmond made it clear that at any given moment if he wants he could end Kurt Angle's career which really puts him over and honestly um, he's also reminding us that he's choosing not to he continues to say and put over that he's choosing not to which looks him really really look really really great and stuff like that and it's amazing that he's looking so freaking strong in his debut match against Kurt Angle what a freaking match what a storyline congratulations Desmond Wolf so Impact oh yeah and then at the end of course we got the brief conference footage from Hulk Hogan signing with TNA. I like the way they edited this. It makes it seem like um, a big deal. Now, people were already complaining that um, the crowd wasn't even, the crowd of the press conference wasn't even chanting Hogan and this and that, like as much as they should have. Guys, it's a press conference. This isn't, you know, a promo being cut to a live wrestling crowd. It's an actual, it was an actual press conference. There were a lot of people from um, TV outlets and media and stuff like that there as well as regular fans so you can't expect some real wrestling knowledge now um, now I'm gonna briefly talk about something that I didn't get to talk about oh yeah impact was great every single moment of it I was really into it and I really liked the way a lot of the storylines are developing and I also like um, the series approach there um, showing this Hogan signing and uh, um, basically the time that this Angle and Desmond feud is getting, I really, really appreciate it. I've been loving every single second of it. Um, another interesting note is that Mike Tanae actually mentioned that they taped this episode of Impact before the Hogan signing, which also I was wondering. I knew they would probably show something because um, they kept teasing his debut this week. But at the same time, they already taped this impact, so I was wondering, I was interested to see what kind of segment Hogan would be involved in, which was, of course, the conference, which I think came off great. Now, oh yeah, another note that I didn't make, um, this Abyss versus Dr. Stevie match was originally Abyss versus Stevie and Daphne in a handicap match. Um, clap it up for TNA, removing Daphne from, Daphne from this match because she has suffered a broken arm. Um, now there are different reports coming out that it wasn't really a broken arm, that it was something else and it wasn't as serious. I don't know, either way I thought TNA was going to make her work through this match and I was about to really frown upon them. Now, first let me talk about Desmond Wolf and then Hulk Hogan. Desmond Wolf debuted last week and it was amazing, the signing was amazing, came out of nowhere. Um, there are different reports on why WWE did not sign him, but Desmond Wolf himself has said that um, he doesn't even know. So I'll take every little news that come out, you know, as a little grain of salt. And I really think that it was great that he came to TNA, and a lot of people are disliking his name change to Desmond Wolf. Now TNA likes to copyright names, and um, you know they they like to create their own personas um, for their characters now a lot of people are talking crap about the name now me honestly I've never seen a Nigel McGuinness match in 
my life. I know it's hard to believe, but yes. So, same thing for Victoria, aka Tara. So it's easier for me to accept these characters as Tara and Desmond Wolf instead of Nigel McGuinness and Victoria. So for me, it's going to be very easy to call him Desmond Wolf, and I think that that name is honestly badass. I really love the name, and um, something else. Come on, if his name was Desmond Wolf in ROH all these years, and then they were making a name change to Nigel McGuinness, uh, half of you will probably still be complaining, like, why would they change Desmond Wolf? Why not leave Nigel McGuinness? So think of it like that. I think it was a smart move by TNA, and he's behind it, and a lot of people are behind it, and I really love the name change. Desmond Wolf versus Kurt Angle. I can't freaking wait. I think it's amazing that right away he's being pushed into this top, top storyline. Now, it's, I'm curious to see if they could continue this momentum after this feud dies down. And I really think TNA has changed from the way they've booked these type of debuts in the past. So, I don't think his... I don't think his momentum is going to die down. I think this feud is going to go on for a couple months maybe or probably one match here and then they're not going to wrestle next month and they'll come back to the two um, a couple months from now. Either way, he's been looking so strong being pushed to the moon. And if somebody asks me would I rather go to um, Florida and train over there for the WWE for a couple months before actually making my debut in a dark match for Raw and then this and this and that blah blah and then debuting in ECW and jobbing to a couple guys and blah 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 whatever plans they probably most likely have for him and then I make your actual Smackdown or Raw debut a year from now or if I want to go into a storyline against the world's greatest wrestler Kurt Angle I would have easily picked TNA so congrats to Desmond Wolf. Now, Hulk Hogan and TNA, a lot of people are marking out like crazy because nobody, a lot of people don't haven't gotten over Hulk Hogan's presence in the wrestling business and what his name actually means in this business. Now, a lot of people are also saying that this is going to equal the demise of TNA. Even Honky Tonk Man has came out and said that, which I find funny. He said, give TNA 12 months and TNA won't be around anymore, which I think was, it's, it's a real ignorant comment to make. Come on. How can you publicly make a blog so stupid? Sorry, but that was so retarded. Either way, I'm a big fan of this signing. Um, Eric Bischoff is also reportedly coming in with the deal as well and possibly Ric Flair in the near future since he signed a contract to work with Hogan and whatever type of deals he gets involved in for the next three years, something like that. Also, WWE has removed the profiles of Hulk Hogan and Ric Flair from the alumni section. So basically, I'm all for this move. It has already gotten so much media coverage. It was a trending topic on Twitter, which has never happened. Um, a lot of people are talking about it. People at my job that don't know anything about wrestling I heard them talking about it to each other, and then I had to make the story clear and advertise TNA as much as I can. They didn't even know what TNA was. Um, only one of them knew. But all of them knew that Hogan was going to this, apparently, TNA. So it has gotten the coverage that is needed in just two days. So I can't wait for next week's Impact to see how they're going to actually have him um, debut in the Impact Zone, and, as well as other wrestlers. Um, Reactions now these reports that he has a hundred percent booking power people don't believe everything you hear I don't care if these are the dirt sheets that has to be utter Bullshit that has to be so retarded and stupid For him to get a hundred percent booking power and he even um, Confronted the issues with Russo and he said that they're gonna work together and if Russo crosses the line which I don't expect Russo to cross that line because even back in WCW, Russo was the professional one in the situation. It was Hulk Hogan that didn't want to follow the book. And of course he had that thing in his claws. But come on, Hogan, you can't you can't act like a freaking asshole. They just got rid of Booker T for that. Of course Booker T is not Hogan. But I really don't think they would give this man 100% booking power. So don't believe that, guys. Either way, I'm really excited for the future of TNA, including another show. Not Impact, another show to go head on with Monday Night Raw. People stop thinking that it's Impact. They're not going to move Impact. They're saying another show. So that means about four hours of television of TNA, which means great build, more build-up for matches, more everything. I'm really excited for the future of TNA, and I was excited before this Hogan signing. 
because of the momentum after Bound for Glory, but everything is looking great so far, and I'm not just being a mark or a kiss ass. Mr. Platinum Man 1989, peace. Don't miss Turning Point. Order that. Order that. Order it. Peace.